Hello everyone. In this particular video, I am going to talk about uh, the importance of Shraddha. What is Shraddha? Who should be giving it? To whom we are giving it? And what happens if we don't give it? And can only men give Shraddha or women also can give Shraddha? All these sort of things I am going to explain in this particular video. Uh, before we proceed in this video, this video is related to Hinduism and Hindu rituals. So if you are a person who is not interested to know about all this, then you don't have to watch this video. This particular information which I am going to talk, I have already posted a video in my mother tongue, Tamil. So if you have already watched this, watched that video, it's up to you to decide whether to watch this video or not. Because the information, 90% it's going to be the same. What is Shraddha? The Sanskrit word Shraddha means doing with faith. So, we believe in something. Hinduism is a religion which stands only purely by belief. All other religion, if you see, you know the founder of the religion. Whereas for Hinduism, there is no founder. Without a founder, all these years, how come this religion is still sustaining in this world is because of the faith. We have the faith, we believe something that if I do this, this is what is going to happen. So, Shraddha in Sanskrit literally means doing with faith. And in Tamil we call that as a Tidi. Every day, there is a Tidi name mentioned in a calendar. Tidi in Sanskrit means distance. The distance between the sun and the moon is called Tithi. When sun and moon are together in the same zodiac sign, that day is Amavasya. Then the distance keeps growing slowly. It takes 15 days for the sun and moon to be around 180 degree. So, that 180 degree, the 15th day Tithi is called Pavnami or the full moon day. And again it takes 15 days for the sun and moon to come together and that day is Amavasya. In between, there are 14 days and each day is referred with a Tithi name. Pratamai, Dvitiyai, Trithiyai, Chaturthi, Panchami, Panch means 5, Chatur means 4, Chaturthi, Panchami, Sashti, Shan means 6, so Shasti, and then Shabdami, 7th Tithi, Ashtami, Ashta means 8, 8th Tithi. Now means 9, 9th Tithi is Navami. Das means 10, so Dasami. And 8 plus Das is 11, so Eka Tasi, 11th Tithi. Then Do plus Das, 12th Tithi, that is Duva Dasi. And 3 plus Das, Triyo Tasi. And 4, Chatur plus Das, Chatur Tasi. 14th Tithi and the 15th Tithi will be either Amavasya or Pavnami, full moon day or no moon day. So, the Tithi, the process, what we follow, the Shraddha, is actually giving food for our ancestors, Pitru. What we do is we we keep the rice balls, the pinda, and then tell their name, 
and then we take that pinda and we dissolve it in water especially in a river or in a pond etc holy rivers etc why should we do this what is the importance the main reason is forget about whether god exists or not we came to this world because of our parents so one of the main duty of the son is to give the tithi or shraddha for his parents otherwise what happens is even though you have very good time as per your kundalini horoscope you kuja may be exalted he may be very powerful shukra may be very powerful and it could be a very good time for you but still there are certain things which gets keep on delaying progressing there won't be any progress and if you are trying for a marriage there will be a marriage delay if you are already married there won't be any kids for a long time there is no growth in your professional career there is no peace of mind in the family there will be always uh, people disturbing you with some sort of things irritating you in spite of you having a very good time in your horoscope these disturbances are caused by our pitrus and chestas because you forgot to give the shraddha you forgot to do your duty so they are not happy with you they come on a specific day especially the every year on that particular tithi a particular month and particular tithi combination they come and see you whether you are feeding them or not and if you don't do that these are the problems veda says that if 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 we miss one tithi if we miss giving shada just for one year thousand times we will be reborn as shandala shandala means a character less worst character creature in this world just if we miss one shada so it is very important to do this duty and uh, get their blessings by doing this what happens is you are transforming your own ancestors into gods who can grant you boons who can uh, help you solve your problems who can bless you with a baby who can bless you with a, a, a very good marriage all these sort of things so when should we do this we should do that on that particular month and that tithi combination if you don't know if you if you know the date when you are dad or mom passed away if you go to a pandit ji he will work out and say that year which day it falls so you don't have to break your head you need to consult them get the right day and do the offering for these ancestors our soul once it departs this body it takes one year to go and settle in a different plane and in that plane when we go we can see our dad there and our granddad there and great great granddad will be departing from there as soon as we enter there that particular space is allocated or reserved only for three ancestry 
for a family so now my great great uh, granddad will be there my granddad will be there and my dad will be there because my dad already passed away the time i go there my great great granddad will move away from that place that's why when we give sada we need to mention at least three people's name or three ancestry name pandit ji will ask uh, tell your father's name and then he will ask your grandfather's name too and then if you remember your grandfather's father's name you can tell that also because those people are waiting and watching in chandokya upanishad it's mentioned that sun the planet he holds all the souls intact and when the right time comes for the soul he just releases that soul down to earth via water rain coming from so through rain the soul descends to the earth and that is why water is the main source to feed the pitrus that's why we are dissolving the pinda in the uh, river or pond etc what happens is once the water evaporates it takes those things evaporates and it takes it and sends it to the respective people in respective worlds or space in the atmosphere it does its job once our ancestors receive that they will be very happy and they will start granting lot of good things and that's why we dissolve this in water so who first did the uh, sada is atri magarishi and how did we get the information of the shraddha and what is the process behind it and what are the things we need to keep there offerings etc was given by vishnu's avatar varaha to us and this is mentioned in mahabharat yajurveda talks a lot about the importance of doing this particular ritual and uh, it is mentioned in our vedas that each and every individual should do it by themselves for example if my for my dad only i have to do it still i i am still i am alive i have to do it only after me my my son will do for me but now my son can't do for my dad same way i can't do for my granddad let us say that january 1st is the tithi for my granddad i should not consider that if november 1st was my dad's tithi i can uh, while i am doing for my dad i will do it for my granddad too got it it's a very important duty for a hindu personality which should never be missed so you must write it down keep it safe somewhere that particular month and the tithi or during the first of jan or the first month of jan itself you need to consult a pandit and ask him which date it falls your dad's or your mom's sada period for example you forgot to do this or you missed it what will happen don't be scared there are certain amavasyas where if you do that sada it will reach them only two or three amavasyas are there you can google it and find out which day 
you can do it if you forgot to give the sadha on that particular day only men were giving the sadha till now and the reason behind that is in those days women were not allowed to go out of the family or the house so what happened is men who is the who is the person who yearns so he is the one who is going to spend the money for the sadha and so he did it in those days but nowadays women also go out and work and earn so if there is no male son a son for her parents and only daughters are there nowadays there is nothing wrong in a daughter giving the sadha rather than not giving and being born as a shandala for next thousand years there are seven important places for giving the sadha uh, and there are some other places too in north india let me explain the seven important temples where if you give the sadha there our ancestors souls will be uh, blessed sooner to break the cycle of life and death uh first one is kasi varanasi in north india second one is gaya in north india which is in bihar the third one is uh, tiruveni sangam halagabad where ganga yamuna and saraswati all three rivers triveni means three rivers merging sangam means merging place halagabad and the fourth one in south india rameshwaram where lord rama worshiped shiva the fifth one is uh, tiruvengadu planet mercury's temple buddha kshetra and the sixth one is tiruvanjiyam tiruvanjiyam is in tamil nadu near tiruvarur this place is uh, considered to be uh, a place for people to overcome death because before we worship lord shiva there we need to first worship yama there yama is the main deity lord yama after worshiping yama then we have to go worship uh, ganesha and then we have to go and worship lord shiva and this this temple was built by yama himself and the and yama is the god who decides the fate for ancestors because they are there with him isn't it uh, and the seventh place which i have recently been there is also a very important place where adi shankara sang kanagadara stotra to make a poor lady into rich and lord as mahalakshmi was showering gold as a rain in that particular village that is what kanaga dara kanaga means gold dara means rain this place is uh, called tila tarpana puri tila tarpana puri as a history attached with rama's history If you are in North India, you know that Rama tried to give Pinda Thaan for Pinda for his dad Dasarat in so many places, including Gaya. But what happened is the Pinda turned into worms. So Rama was so worried, and then he was praying to Lord Shiva about. Uh, the his dad soul was not liberated then shiva advised him to find a place in tamil nadu especially a find a place where uh, there is a special tree mandara vanam mandara tree 
find a place there and go and give the tithi there and when rama was trying to find out the places he spotted the place thila tarpana puri the other name is sitalapati and he came there he kept four pindas and he was worshiping and asking god to liberate his dad's soul the four pindas transform themselves into four shivalingas and these shivalingas are still there in the temple if you go there you can see that this is near kumbagonam tamil nadu and and this particular place as a ganesha ganesha statue in idol with the human face that is ganesha's idol taken before the beheading and fixing the elephant head so you can see this his name is adi vinayagar adi means the first vinayagar so recently been there so thought i will share this to everyone and this is also considered to be the very important place for giving sada tarpana in sanskrit refers to giving water tithi is yearly feeding the once in a year feeding the ancestors food and every amavasya if you do something you give the tarpana like giving some vegetables or donating something to the progits pandits that is like we are making our ancestors to drink water so for 11 months you can give them water make them happy and the 12th month which is that particular day you can give shraddha and make them happy if you have any other questions related to this particular process or if you are not convinced with the way i explain please do post a comment and i will respond to your queries as a comment that's all i wanted to say in this particular video please do take care